What's up everyone, G2Vex30 here, coming at you with another commentary today. We are playing one of the funnest builds in the game, Void Abide Ceres. When you run Umbral Gate 5 when you're loadout and you buy Nimble, you just go so fast constantly. You can do whatever you want. I really wish she would find her way in the meta, because I want to play her more and more and more. I hope she has something done with her in the next few patches to make her meta. Besides all that though, I hope everyone is enjoying their day, and I also hope you enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up with me when I post a new video. That is all from me for now. I will see everyone in the commentary. What is up, ladies and gents? We are back today with some more Sarah's gameplay. Uh, we're gonna be playing something something easy today the void abides let's see we're gonna run heals of void this is my build for void abides blah 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 so on and so forth you're gonna relook at it here it is soul collector five blood pack three veil one umbro gate five and dark whisper one so let's run some nimble because we like nimble on this build it feels really good extra movement speed uh we have a pretty good team comp for saris to heal here even though it's fish market uh i really feel like Ceres has the range to keep up on Fish Market now since they buffed it in a couple patches ago in like 1.5 or 1.6. So she's a lot better on this map. I was able to pull her out in the PPL. It was a Fish Market game actually. I think it was against Splice. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Well, I'm not able to heal Flame there. He's going to have to just heal out of combat because I have to top off our Nara. It's unfortunate, but it has to happen. We're just going to play the line of sight. We know we had left control for a second. Ah, we, uh, we're not getting to that Maeve, there's no way. Dude, we can reach side to side there, on the heals. Like I said, the range is actually insane. See if we can tag up that Cassie, we can. We gotta watch out for the Knessa, though. Look at this range, the range is really good on fish. Oh, we gotta keep the Cassie alive. We're being really careful about our flank, though. We don't want to be flanked. Nice, that was perfect. I wish I could have been over my team, but... Rotating all the way over would have wasted a lot more time. So we could have held the left by herself, and we didn't move, so it worked out really well. Free pocket Dinara, get her as much healing as we can. Flame's gonna have to come back to payload for the heal if he wants it. There he goes. Perk to rotation back, gets the heal, can get right back into the fight. Can't really jump peek that. I was thinking I could. Pop off Dinara, ooh, Vivian's gonna be spamming us. Gotta be careful of that. Give her a little bit back, see what we can do. Dragon Saris. It's not a Soul Collector video, it's a Void Abides video. We can make it a Soul Collector video, though. No, we're not doing that again. That was fun, though. I might do more of that. I really like the making the meta series, to be honest. All right, Nara, back up a little bit. There you go. Top off flame. I think it should... Oh, what? Hello? Flame line of sighted, so it clipped on the Mave. That's what happened there. Oof. But there's no saving Nara either. We're just going to spam... Oh, nice. We'll take that. That was a losing fight anyway, so that's really good. I wanted to pop Q to get some alt charge, but that's okay. Get some spam. Probably won't get one shot at this angle. Unless she was, like, big time holding it. Now I'm alt left. Gonna look for an alt soon. There it comes. Oh, beautiful! There we go! That's what I'm talking about, boy! Really good Cassie ult. Set up that Saris ult. And then we had the amazing Victor ult to combo with it. Really good play all around by our team. I think the Cassie ult really set that up, and the Victor ult was an amazing finish for that. We're going to stay on payload. We're going to try to tank it out. Yep, we sure did. Get to self-sustain, top off Anara, get the credits. And we killed the Vivian. Nice. Perfect plays. Um, that Saris ult really worked out. Um, I really saw... The biggest thing I was looking for when I Saris ult is shields. So the first thing, the first thing I really looked for was the Makoa. Makoa shield would have caused an issue. Makoa almost got there to shield, but I knew he was on the left, so that was my chance to get that alt off. I waited an extra second for our team to get there. I set attack, I threw the alt, Victor popped the alt because he heard it. We pulled like three or four people. So perfect that everything worked out great there. I think their Makoa's a bot? Not sure. Go might be a bot, RAP. RIP their team. Free wins for us, though. Just kidding. Just kidding. Alright, we're gonna do the left side again. See anybody go here, but we do see a mine. We're gonna kill that early, so we don't have to deal with that. Drogos is already spitting. We're gonna be with our team, because we know the Drogos is over there. We don't know where the Knessa is, and since Vivian had a mine over there, there's a chance she's over there. Drogos dead. Makoa's dead. Big. 
You see the Vivian waiting way back. Their team is just waiting back. Top off both of these DPS. Oh, they didn't stay together. Let's get to point now. Oh no, Maeve! Maeve was stuck between a rock and a hard place and I didn't have a cooldown to save her. That was unfortunate for her. Hopefully Inara can just stay on point because I don't want to against the Knessa Vivian. She'll have an easier time than me. See if we can wall jump this. Uh, no, we can't. We're gonna break this reveal. Get back, heal up flame. We wanna heal up Cassia now. We're gonna switch focus towards point. See if we can get the angle, there it is. Mako already popped shield, he's already dead. I feel bad for their team, they have a bot Makoa. That's what feels bad, man. We need to top off this Mave though, there we go. Like this range is so good. Very happy about it. Oh, just gonna, this is a support life right here. Just sitting back, sitting on payload, enjoying your day, you know, hit him with an Evo maybe. Uh, one thing to watch out for this map, some of like to sit back there and snipe. When you're on payload, watch out for that. Don't get one shot emoting. Don't be silly. That is a thing a lot of a lot of snipers like to do. I don't think at a higher level snipers do it. Like they do it sometimes to catch people off guard. But I would just keep an eye for it. Don't 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 be off your guard, basically. Don't do what I did. Don't be emoting on point. Here comes the Victor Alt. We're looking to set up the Oh jeez. Gotta juke our shots. We did. Oh, let's save our Cassie. It'll be okay. Let's see if we can Kobe this. I think I got the angle for it. Did I get the angle? Yo, I thought I think I got it perfect. It looked like the alt went right behind that ramp. <laughs> that was funny. Kobeing Sarasaults is always fun. Wow, that was a very short and quick game. They had a bot Makoa. That was pretty unfortunate for them. But this is going to be video one of two of Saris Void Abides. There's no way I can just post this video and be okay with it, you know? We got to have two videos here. There's no way we can just go with that one. So, I hope you enjoyed this first video. It was a little bit of a stop. We had a really good alt, some good alt combos, really good plays. So, make sure you stick around for the second game. Here are the stats. We died. Didn't die very often. Our Maeve, she was going in. She was fragging. She died a little bit more, but that's fine. Our healing was good, everything was fine. But I will see you in the next one. What is up everyone? We are here for the part two of this Saris Void Abides video. Let's, of course, same as last time. Void Abides, same build, same everything. So on and so forth. Let's play some video games. We're playing against a no tank comp. They have a Grover healer. So this is gonna be interesting. Their team comp is something else. So we have to be kind of careful because they have a lot of damage here. So hopefully we can get some protection. Hopefully we can keep people alive, do our job. Let's play some video games. All right, so Khan is here. Good, good, good. I don't know if he has a card. What's our buck run? Bucking Madness, ooh. All right, let's check some of the high ground. We knew he was gonna go there. Let's keep uh, Willow Pocket for now. She might take some damage contesting over here. Not too sure where the rest of their team is. Buck can self-sustain himself. We might look to Pocket or Maeve so she can <laughs> do a lot on the... Oh, she is. Hello. Good protection by the Khan. Okay, I think he went up back that way. No, there he is. We're good. We're pretty hidden from him. We might face him here. Yeah. We're all good. Perfect timing on that. Did that really well. The buck's going to point for some reason. All right. Okay. Top off our Mave. We're going to play from the right side here. We're going to be very right centric. We'll be able to rotate over to the left later. I think now. Now. Oh, we're crippled. Okay. He's Root Grover. Didn't notice. But that's fine. Top off our buck, rotate back around. Dead OT with the Eevee, that's fine. Use the Void Abide to heal up too. We're gonna look for a Mave now. Got the Mave. Perfect. We need to look for Willow now. Got the heal in there. We know Eevee's on the high ground. Let's even get some spam. Got you, Mave. One second. Ooh. Hopefully, Mave can contest that Andro. I'm gonna pocket her for it. Nice. Doing it really well. I need to get up to the high ground as soon as possible. That's our goal right here. So let's move this, use this moving speed we have on Strix. And let's get up here. Get the initial spam on this chokehold. Oh, the dredge spam. Oh, we oh, we just barely saved her Mave. We're going to ghost walk because Andro might push us. Nah, I don't think he's going to. Let's top our Mave. Oh, we couldn't heal her in time. Took a lot of damage. Unfortunate. We don't have ghost walk here, so we need to be very careful. 
Yeah, we need to just get out at this point. Hopefully we don't get crippled. Alright, let's use this and get out. Let's walk out. Top our calm. Let him get out as well. Everything's going well so far. Everything's going exactly how it needs to be. We're taking it slow. We got Willow all coming. Hopefully Willow can find something. I'll be able to keep her alive through that Andro. Maybe be able to kill the Andro through it. Andro's low up in the high ground. I don't think Maeve saw. I need to get over to this con as soon as possible. He still has shield though. He should be okay. We need to look at her Maeve next if we can. We got her. And right, we need to look back at Khan. We know how we know Khan has a bunch of shield charge left. So he can keep himself alive. Oh, we just barely got that heal on the Oh no, we need to heal ourselves with that Q. We just barely had that heal on that Willow though. Try to keep her alive. They might try to dive me soon. Is he the Eevee trying to re-blink? Yep, there it is. Now she's up on our high ground. We gotta be very careful of that. Let's get the spam on her so we have the movement speed. Let's push forward. We're gonna look for an alt here. Ghost walk. Let her team try to clean it up. Oh, heal the con. Nice. That went perfect. Willow cleaned up so well right there. So happy about that. I don't think Willow could have done any better there. We were able to save alive. There's really no reason. We knew we had a juicy alt, but we knew, <laughs> we knew that there's a possibility of that Strix getting around that corner and killing us. So we had to just run and ghost walk. It's more important for us to live than do that damage. So that we played that really well. We let our teammates follow up on the ultimate. That's exactly what you have to do sometimes. You have to have faith in your teammates to follow up on your ults. And the Willow really did exceptional right there. I mean, that's Grover ult too. She's able to dead zone the Grover ult, which is amazing. They really countered it out and we were able to get that push because of it. <laughs> trying to think, trying to think. Is there anything else we need here? We can save for nimble three on a respawn. Yeah, we're all good. Everything's good. Good deal. Where are they at? Grover set up on the high ground. Strix set up on the high ground. Let's pocket these guys in. Now, we're not going to have alt for a while. So we're going to play... Oh, nice. We can push up a little bit off that blind. See if we can get some spam on them. So our maze playing very... Oh, we wanted to heal. We had the pre-heal on her for the initial damage she might take. Let's keep that Eevee low. Nice. Just in case... Just in case Eevee got out of that ult in time and Khan wanted us to kill her. Free all charge. This is nothing to complain about either. Let's go here on the right again. Let's get the spam angle. I like the spam angle of Saris for the dismount. It's really, really good. I think I was actually missing it there for a second. All right, now we can rotate back to point. Top off our team. Andrew's on point. We can hit him from behind. Nice. Perfect. We're going to try to find this Mave heal. We got it. We see Strix on the high ground. Kind of just chilling, topping off the team. Trying to farm some alt so we can make a play. Ooh, let's top off Mave just in time. Push up. Andrew's on the high ground. I don't know where the wrestler's team is. All right, two's dead, three dead. Okay, three dead. Andrew's there, Evie's there. Perfect. We know we can rotate this way. Saved our Mave. We didn't save our Mave, actually. Just helped our Mave. Mave was fine. Let's get a heal over there for the self-sustain. We're gonna be okay. Khan's just slow clapping on point. That's toxic, Khan. Pushing in there isn't our best decision because we're gonna be too far away from our team. They just altered the Khan who was just slow clapping on point. That is so funny. Let's split heal here. Ah, there's nothing more we can do for the Mave. We should be able to clean up there though. Nice, we didn't get rooted, which was huge. If we got rooted there, we would have been in a tough spot. Let's hide down here. Watch out for the Eevee blink. All right, we're topped off. We're good. We're going to push up now. I don't know where that Eevee is. I think she's above us. We're going to hide for a second. Now we're going to push up. I think she's right above us. Really not sure where she went. No! The root. We're going to back up. We're good now. Let's heal the con. We're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because where the Eevee was positioned. We had to force ourselves forward. Keep Khan topped off. Willow can heal out of combat. We're watching for the Eevee blinking to our top left. That is the most likely thing she's going to do if she wants to kill us. All right, there she is. We know where she's at. I know the Andro flank is at as well. That's pretty big. 
We're gonna get some kills here. We're gonna try to snowball this with an alt. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. We just got one shot. As soon as I tried to alt, I ate a strict shot and I ate a dredge reload. That is so unfortunate. We didn't get nimble three either. That's fine. It's too focused on talking. That's fine. We die at the end. That was some damage though. Sometimes that happens. You just get bursted. I mean, when you're trying to set up an alt like that, you see it, you go for it. They, they just they kill you very fast. I mean, that's just the meta we're in. Dredge reload hit us for so hard in the strict shop. That's all good though. Good play by a bully here. I think that was where my alt was. Killed the Strix. Was able to clean up my alt. Kind of put them all out of position. I mean, the alt ended up working out super well. And the payload is so far up that they didn't have respawns in time where we could just push it without a healer. So GG's to everyone. That was a good game. It was unfortunate that they didn't have a tank. That made it a bit easier on our team. But, you know, it's just the, it's just the way it goes, you know? So GG's. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, hope you enjoy your day, night, evening, morning, dawn, dusk, or whatever it is where you live. And I will see you in the next one. Later.